Hi, and welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is look at how we add in any videos that we put onto our YouTube channel and how do we embed them in our website. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go back in through our uh, CQU email address and we're going to go back into YouTube. So click on YouTube. Once we're in here, we're going to go over to my channel. Get into my channel and then we're going to go to video editor or video manager I should say so this is the new one I've just created so I'm going to embed this into the website so the first thing I want to do is click on edit and I'm going to grab this URL that's in here so I'm going to right click on it so highlight it right click and then copy it and then the next thing I'm going to do is go into the website if you don't remember how to do that just check one of the previous videos but once I'm in here, I want to be able to edit the page. So I want to select the page that I want. And generally, if I've got it in my menu structure already, I can just click on it. Once again, if you haven't seen the video on menu structures, uh, I'd highly recommend you watch that first. Well, once I'm in here, I'm just going to click on edit page. I'll make sure that my cursor is in this box below. So this is my title. This is where I want my content. And I'm going to go up to insert. And then I'm going to go over here to YouTube. So I'm going to click on YouTube. And it's going to ask me to paste in that URL. Now I copied that URL a minute ago. So I'm just going to right click and paste it in here. The next thing it wants to do is give you an option about how big you want the video. So in my case, because I'm putting big videos for you guys to see, I'm going to put it about 853 by 480. Now, depending on what other text you may have below or around the video, you may want it uh, larger or smaller. Uh, but just bear in mind, anywhere between about 853 and 560 is pretty good for most sites and uh, most mobiles as well. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to, in my case, I'm going to untick the include border and I'm going to delete any title. Now, you can leave the title in there if you like, that's fine. So you can give it the title, my portfolio or whatever it is you want to put in there and then click save. And if you give it a minute, you'll see it will show up in here. Now, once you've got the, the video in here, there's a couple of things you can do. You can align it left or right and you can center it. Um, you can put wrap on. Or wrap off now what does wrap on and wrap off mean well it means when I'm typing text at the moment the text is down the bottom of the screen so the bottom of the screen down here um, if I'm typing probably can't see it it's probably just off the screen so it's down here here we go all right so I spot that wrong but anyway all right so it's down there now, so what I can do is I can click on it and I can use this wrap on and you'll see now it moves it up to the side. So I can actually make this sit anywhere I want within my video by using the enter key on the keyboard. If I don't want it, once again, I can just delete it. So I can turn wrap on or wrap off. So there you go. That's how you embed the video. Now, once you've done that and you've got it where you want it, go up and click on save. And once the video is saved, you'll see it will show up. And if I click play, it should play automatically. All right. There you go. That's how you uh, embed a YouTube video into any of the pages on your website. 